Roblox is doing something massive, the Cell Avatars update just got released and it's kinda bad, the haunt is officially over, and more insane Roblox news today that you won't wanna miss. Hello and welcome back to another Roblox news video, today we have 4 insane stories that you won't wanna miss. Let's start with some Roblox games being banned for under 13 accounts. If you as a troll put your main account under 1 years old, I feel bad for you. Bloxy News tweeted today, Roblox is announcing two changes to keep young users safe on the platform. Users under 13 will not be able to play, search, or discover unrated experience. Users under 13 will not be able to join social hangouts or freeform user creation experiences. Okay wow. So if the game hasn't been age rated, you're banned for users under 13. RBX News also tweeted beginning November 18, only users aged 13 and older will be able to play social hangouts and freeform user creation experiences on Roblox. For a Roblox player turning 13 on the 17th they would be so happy lol. Roblox also released a dev forum I won't read the whole thing but cover the main parts. Hi creators, as we grow and learn, we continually enhance our safety measures to keep users of all ages safe on our platform and we need your help to achieve this. As part of this, we want to let you know about two changes. By default, users under the age of 13 will not be able to play, search, and discover unrated experiences. This will ensure that parents and users have more clarity into the types of content available on Roblox and will help them make more informed choices about what they want to play. We will be restricting access to social hangouts and freeform user creation experiences to users ages 13 plus. Parents and young users need accurate information about the experiences they are playing. Moving forward, all creators must complete a questionnaire for each experience they want available for users under 13. This means that all unrated experiences will be filtered out of search and any public or recommended sorts for users under 13. Additionally, creators must ensure that all information, such as thumbnail, title, and description on their experience details page for each experience is appropriate for all users. By meeting either the all ages or 9 plus age recommendations, we will begin enforcement of these requirements next year. Creators must fill out the experience questionnaire by December 3rd, 2024. Go to Creator Hub, Creations, select an experience, audience, questionnaire. So if you don't fill out the questionnaire by the 3rd of December, your game will not be able to be played by under 13 accounts. Hangout experiences are things like vibe games, clubs, socializing and supportive spaces where the primary theme or purpose of the experience is to communicate, e.g., in text or voice chat, with other users as yourself. This does not include role-playing or real-life simulation experiences where users adopt a different role or are provided with items to role-play with. Freeform user creation applies to features within experiences that allow users to draw or write in 2D and replicate those creations to other users without the completed creation going through Roblox moderation. Example writing or drawing on a chalkboard, whiteboard, or with spray paint. This does not include an experience user creations assembled with 3D assets that have individually gone through Roblox moderation e.g., building a house with blocks, creating an outfit, creating short-form videos of inexperience content. We recognize the deadline is soon, but we greatly appreciate your cooperation in helping us ensure Roblox is a safe and civil place for users of all ages to come together. If you have further questions or concerns, please share below. So if you didn't know what a free-form user game is which I didn't for a little bit but it's like spray paint, speed draw, so those games will be banned for users under 13 probably. Spray paint is fair enough, if you play that game expect to see literally anything. Speed draw though it does classify as the same type of game but that is probably a game that spray paint is, you can draw anything. Let's see what the developers think. I don't know if this will be better or worse. It's good to no longer have inappropriate hangout games in the discovery for people under 13 but at the same time they are supposed to get moderated I feel like also realized that games such as Please Donate will also be restricted from getting visits from players under 13 which will definitely affect their player count. UGC will be restricted to 13 plus, Roblox have you lost your mind? Wait did I miss that where did Roblox say that? Well that's crazy if true. Are we saying that roleplay games are less dangerous than social hangout games? If so, this is so 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 incredibly tone deaf and naive to the problem that this is trying to solve. It gives me the impression that enacting this same change on roleplay in games is more threatening to Roblox's income, hence why it was left out of this subset. Yeah this post mentioned that roleplay games will be fine, so games like Brookhaven will be okay. 
That would be like all of Brookhaven's player base gone in one day if Brookhaven was affected. I'm sorry man but it's kinda true lol. I'm sure there are still people who play who are 13 or older though. Okay I did some checking and UGC is not affected, it's still for everyone. In the past year, Turkey A banned Roblox due to concerns of user safety. Meanwhile, the United Kingdom is investigating into Roblox about the similar issues Turkey A was having problems with. This affects Roblox's reputation and has legally forced Roblox to attempt their best to improve the safety of the users on Roblox. I will say that this update doesn't initially do much since questionaries are easily bypassable but if they started requiring the game owners to provide identification to allow search to be available then this could really help a lot. I don't actually know if we have any updates to the UK investigating Roblox situation I haven't checked in a while. Let's go to our next story with a pretty cool chat update coming out. So Bloxy News tweeted channel tabs and UI gradients are now available for Roblox experiences using text chat service. This looks awesome, like UI gradients look cool. Here's what it looks like, that gradient looks cool. My guess is they will cost Robux. I think that's what they will do. Let's go to our next story with the honk being officially over. Well, over 6 days ago it was over lol. Roblox tweeted I know I don't include Roblox tweets often, Axbury Manor has been released from the curse of the Headless Horseman. Whether your memories involve embracing the darkness or fighting it back, your spirit will forever remain with the haunt. The memories we have are not good, we have terrible memories that I wish to forget forever. Okay maybe not that dramatic but they ain't good memories lol. So I think the hub is still open if you wanna check it out. Well the Roblox Haunt event is officially done and has my opinion changed? Well not really. The event was still disappointing and rushed, the hub and the prizes was still beautiful, and the boss battle was bad. Overall this event is a 4 slash 10, hopefully the next event is good. I'm not sure what the next event is, hopefully Christmas. If we got a Halloween event maybe we will get a Christmas event too? That would be awesome. Let's go our next and last story with the selling avatars update having a disappointing update. So recently as you saw in my video about 2 days ago Roblox released the selling your avatars update. It was awesome I covered how to do it, my thoughts on it, I was really happy. Well, now not so much because the whole reason I was happy about it isn't happening anymore. Bloxy News tweeted Roblox has clarified that, at this time, earnings from items sold within an avatar will only benefit the creator of the original items. There is no separate revenue share for selling avatars with items you did not originally publish. So there is pretty much no reason to publish avatars other than for other people to find them. It will only benefit the original creators of the item. So for you to be able to publish avatars you must be ID verified, ages 13 plus, have Roblox Premium 1000 or 2200, abide by our marketplace policies and community standards. For buying avatars though this is cool, I was being very dramatic saying it's useless now not gonna lie lol. It's still a cool update, just unfortunate it's not gonna actually benefit the person publishing the avatar too. If you enjoyed consider subscribing because we are so close to 1.77k and it's early November. We need 230 subs in a month. Can we do it? I think so. See ya bacons. Boo.